Hello and welcome to Chill Out Gaming Zone. My name is Ultramarino. Let's do a checkpoint episode to see how far we've gone with the monk. Uh, in the end of this episode, I'll be identifying all these items that I've been gathering in the last few days. But right now, let's talk about skills and numbers and all that. Uh, so if you want to skip the gameplay, please click in this link on the screen. So, since I'm building a fire monk, um, some of my items have a percentage fire skill damage. Uh, so, this one, my fire skills deal 13% more damage, this one 15%, this one 20%, and this one 18% more damage. So, these are quite good, and they all add up to an elemental damage of, look at that, 1,202,000. This is way more than this white damage of 724,000, of course, because I'm building around the fire, since my generator and my spender are both fire damage. And my tactical skills here, the sweeping wind and the epiphany, are also fire. Uh, my other items, worth of mentioning, these are my f defensive items, remember that? These are the defensive items. I have the Rainman of a Thousand Storms, the mantle, and the boots, the Eight Demon boots. Both give me a bonus of 500 plus dexterity, so they are pretty good. Uh, this gold skin is pretty basic, uh, so are the the pants. I could have got better pants, I was really unlucky with this. Uh, Inus favor, pretty resistances, and my attack uh, equipment, the gloves, pretty good. And this, uh, this head piece is quite good. Sometimes I get an effect that removes the spirit cost, so whenever I see the buff down here, I keep just spinning the lashing tail kick like crazy uh, for three seconds because yeah this is a great buff so that's it and my weapons look at they are gemmed with emeralds for better critical hit chance and damage damage I mean the critical hit chance comes from the gloves and the rings so, I love the monk as it is right now. At the beginning it looked like he would be really weak, but right now I have another idea. This guy is pretty strong. So, my skills, as I said before, um, I'm using Crippling Wave. Because this has a really large sweeping attacks and does that daze every third hit. So, it's, it's I, I'm liking this more than the one that I was using, what was it? it was Blazing Fists, a way of 100 fists. Yeah, this one, it's more targets, and I love it. And my spender, this is my generator, and this is my spender, the Lashing Tail Kick is quite good. 624% weapon damage as fire, is pretty good. Uh, my epiphany whenever I can and my sweeping wind all the time dashing strike when I want to escape and cross those walls generated by monsters or generated by blizzard <laughs> and the mantra of healing that generates the bubble that absorbs damage I mean, I'm using this in <laughs> with this uh, passive skill the chance of resonance which decreases my uh, spirit cost of the bubble that I'm using to bubble myself and my party. So this is pretty good, this is a pretty good combo. I like playing healer, sort of healer. <laughs> and I'm also using the near-death experience, of course, I'm playing <laughs> hardcore. And seize the initiative, as it is right now. I know this will change in next patch. So, while it lasts, my armor is increased, 30% of my dexterity, and unity, which gives me 5% more damage per player in the party. So, right now, I'm the solo player in the party, I'm already getting 5% increased damage. So, on my Paragon points, I'm using everything on movement, on core, and spending the rest on dexterity. On offense, I spent everything on critical hit damage and now spending on chance. On defense, I spend everything on armor and now on resist all. And on utility, I spend all in cost reduction and now on life on hit. 
So let's join a party and have one last rift with the monk on patch 206. Let's go inside the rift and let's see what goes. Doing my sweeping wind and dashing and giving a good start to these guys. So, I've been busy, I've got a new summer job, uh, 12 on expenses, and boy, it's been <laughs> really hard to sit down and play as much as it is to, after that, uh, edit all the video and make the episodes for the channel. <laughs> it's been hard, and also it's been a really hard summer. Oh, let's go. Hey, it's here. <laughs> it's been a really hot summer, I mean. Uh, and my computer had some problems. I was delaying a bonus on my cooling. And, uh, I need to improve my cooling on my machine. And boy, uh, it's been really, really hot. And so my machine was like stopped by it for a week <laughs> I was waiting for some parts um, so yeah my machine is cooler I'm doing quite good frame rate right now because uh, that was the problem <laughs> the frame rate sometimes dropped a lot and that was not fun that was not fun at all Ooh. and since YouTube will have 60 frames per second soon I'm hoping that <laughs> I'll be doing some really good, which is bad. Uh, let's let's say it's good for one thing. There will be better videos about it, right? Uh, better. Oh, let's yeah, let's Malifont, Mal Lord of Domination, bubble this guy. So yeah, YouTube will be having the possibility of. Ah, oh, let me go. Let me get a half fucker, you bitches. <laughs> I was stuck somewhere. I don't know why. Where? Anyone has Nemesis? No? No Nem? No? No? Let's go. <laughs> that was easy choice. So yeah, since uh, YouTube is going to have the uh, the option of doing 60 frames per second by default or by option of the player, I don't know. But then again, that means that us, the the guys that upload videos, the videos will be the double the size Jesus that will mean bigger upload times and bigger files oh god <laughs> but the quality will be doubled right which is pretty amazing you can see it right right now but this game is quite fluid my wow that guy was going to burn me so yeah uh, this is quite fluid now. My cooling system is working quite well. <laughs> oh, where's my 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 sweeping wind? Oh, I don't have. Hello, hi there. <laughs> where's the beer? Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, but uh, epiphany in this guy. I was going to say paragon on this guy. That was no sense. Oh uh, yeah, let's go this way and try to beat him. In the ass. There you go, Nizun. Oh god, I was just changing my settings and the ring dropped. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I was not able to see. God damn it. Ah, bubble me. Okay, Epiphany. I was not able to see who killed the last monster, so. I was just changing that. Oh god, this is the Mallet Lord. Bubble us! Oh, bubble us! I love my mantra. Bubble, 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 spin, spin, bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> Jesus, bubble us. God dang. Ah. Come fry with me, come fry, let's bake an egg. Okay, it's a big guy, finally. Jesus. <laughs> okay, epiphany on the guy. Okay, he's doing some damage, some damage. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yep. Okay, God, 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 I just jumped there to kill this guy before he runs into us. Okay, let's go. I love this quick dash. It's a great improvement on the monk mobility. Yes, I could be just crying about the 
<laughs> Ice Climber's not dropping, but then again, this makes my guy really mobile. I can just jump from one place to another really fast. I see them spiders, I see them guys over there, so Ep epiphany in a few seconds and let's go. Okay, let's kick this guy in the butt. Okay, 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 bubble us. Let's poison the floor. Okay, oh shit, already? <laughs> this was fast? This was really fast! Jesus, what have we been killing? God. Is there any patch meanwhile? And the mouse just gives more. E oh! Okay. Try and avoid that. Let's try and kill the, this guy. And he's dead! Ultramarinos kill this candle! This is it! Ooh, big guys! Yes! Look at the danger of playing hardcore! Jesus, these guys do a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, epiphanize me! Let's try to kill one at a time, hand pack oppressor. Oh god, it's fire damage. Uh, ice damage. Oh god, it's ice, it's ice everywhere. Oh god, let's go. <laughs> so it seems the level ended. Let's go home and check out the equipment that we found. So I've just started a new private game. Uh, so I found this in this last episode. And I'm saying last, but it's not the last. I'm just going to leave the monk for now and well I'll be playing with it later on with the new patch um, so let's identify all this let's see let's identify these guys and ooh, new transmog so crown of the invoker uh, dexterity as a socket and resistance to all elements. This is the one that says that I, if I get two range and melee attackers take 4000 damage per hit. Since I'm playing monk and I don't intend to be hit. I mean, for now, maybe last patch since dodge is going to be ditched. So an offhand shield, I'm not using it. It's a dexterity shield. Neither the Demon Hunter or me uses it, so... Uh, so Vigilante Belt... Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even have Dexterity. And the Stolen Ring... Uh, dexterity, Damage, Critical, each Chance... Ooh, I can try and change that chance to deal 14% damage area... Uh, try to trade that for a Critical uh, Damage. Yeah, that might be actually... Well, that will be actually better than both of my rings. Ooh, yeah, that, that's a really nice ring. I was not expecting that. Um, Creds Flame. Chance to deal area damage, area attack speed, taking fire damage, restore your primary resource. I already had this one. Uh, it's shame that it's just dexterity, attack speed increase and nothing more. It's not very attack focused just more resource focused. Next, uh, Hina's Reach. Oh, I got lots of Hina's stuff, right? It's like... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hina's Reach? Is this? I had something more. Oh, it's my belt. It's Hina's Favor. Oh, look, it has a socket. It's really good. Cool damage, dexterity, and I get spirit. I'm gonna keep this, because I know the next patch, Monk, uh, uh, fighting with Daibo or uh, Stave combat stuff, uh, it's it's good. Uh, there's a skill for it. There's a, there's skills for it. Next we have Tal Randen's hand. What is this? It's uh, dexterity, vitality, no socket. Okay, uh, I'll have to check out if uh, trading that vitality there for a socket will give me a more damage than one of these two weapons. But my weapons uh, says that my fire skills deal a percent more damage, and this one doesn't. So, mm. and crystal fist, uh, it's a, it's a monk and fist weapon. Only damage, dexterity, no socket. The same thing as with this one. I'll have to check it if it's worth it to put a socket on it. Uh, so next, 
the laws of Seth. Using blinding flash restores 89 spirit. I'm not using blinding flash. It has a socket. Okay, it has dexterity. Okay, spirit regen. It's an okay. It's not very useful. Ancient Parthen defenders. Uh, dexterity, vitality, resistance to all elements. Oh god, it does not have fire skill increase damage. Maybe if I change it, but then again it doesn't have critical hit chance increased, critical hit damage increased. It's a defense item, it's not that good. Inus Radiance, ah, I, s <laughs> I knew I saw another Inus thing thingy. So, Inus Radiance, uh, good dexterity, good armor, okay, it does not have uh, critical hit chance, that's... That's too bad, but I can try to try. Uh, I can try to change that empty socket for critical e chance, and I get if I get to use this in his reach, this in his radiance with the belt, I get increased spirit regen and the resource cost of sweeping wind by 70 spirit. Oh, it becomes free. Oh, almost free. Since uh, the cost of sweeping wind is 75 spirit, with the bonus of having three of these items would cost only five. <laughs> it's pretty good. So this was it. This was me playing the monk. Other items that I have here, the barber, sky cutter, scales of dancing serpent. This is all for a future monk. If I get to fit these guys somewhere to make more damage I will do so I'm I'll just wait for oh I have uh, already a thousand of these uh, so I'm keeping this for lightning skills I will try to make a lightning monk here's some for holy skills and here's some for cold skills let's wait for patch 210 and check out if the monk do, does better. I already played the beta or public test ROM and the monk was quite good. So see you next time. I hope to continue this monk next uh, when the patch comes out. Right now my intents are to play Witch Doctor <laughs> and do a more literal... I'm really uh, missing playing Witch Doctor. So if you like this episode Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.